to be honest, I cannot believe we are returning back on this world again, guys. It <laughs> guys, it is getting more and more creepy by the day, and it is still raining in this world. Like, we have a black sheep here, which is what we thought was the first reported sighting of Boogeyman, guys. A lot of you guys have been leaving comments like, like first off, guys, look at this. Something is eating the grass, and I, I guess it's this sheep, but man, it's eating a lot of grass here. But anyways, guys... It's weird because there's always been a black sheep around this area. I don't know if you guys have been watching the Boogeyman videos, but if you haven't seen the previous ones, oh my god, guys. Also, subscribe, enable post notifications. Another reason why you want to do that, guys, is I'm giving away free gift cards to enter. All you got to do is subscribe, enable post notifications, like the video. But that's beside the point, guys. Is it getting daytime finally, or is the storm finally? What are the villagers doing? Guys, look at this. The villagers are going sporadic again. Okay, guys, in the previous episode, we saved the village. Villagers, okay? We, we're pretty much trying to save this village, but look at what they're doing. What are they doing, guys? This is not normal behavior. Okay, guys, the village is... It's a, it's a decently sized village. All the villagers are over here near my house. Okay, this is the house we moved in. They're all in my house or this small house? What does this mean? Guys, if you know what this means, let me know in the comment section below because I have not a clue and it's creeping me out. Like, I... I guys... This, this, this story just gets more and more creepy, guys. If you have not seen the previous videos, I urge you to go watch those right now. Pause this one. Come back to this one later because... Honestly, guys, I don't even know what's about to happen today. We have new investigations that we need to go into. And I'm going to be doing an experiment that you guys wanted me to do. Wow, there's so much to do, guys. We have the book. We have the, the disc. Oh, my gosh. Look at what the villagers are doing, though. This is legitimately every villager in the village. They're all here. What does this mean? I have never seen villagers act like this, guys. But anyhow, what I was saying about the whole Boogeyman mystery. See how the sheep is like up there on the hill? We thought the first time we saw Boogeyman, he was like up here, right? And what we thought it was supposedly a black sheep. But you guys are saying it's definitely not. And well, the more that we continue, the more... What is going on? Okay, the priest. Okay, this is something to go over as well, guys. We rescued the priest in the last episode. But for some reason... All of the villagers still are going nuts. Now they're kind of scattering a little bit. But guys, for some reason, the villagers, like the priest, was locked up over here in a cell hidden by grass. We have no clue what was going on with that. But we freed the priest. We've been trying to help out with the village as much as we can. But we also found a weird villager that was, like, possessed by, I, I don't know, the boogeyman or something. Guys... It was so weird, but I, I think it's our responsibility to try to really just patch up this village, guys. It is in rough shape, and, like, the villagers can't even get around, and, like, I just want to patch this village up to the best of our ability because, guys, it is definitely needed, and that's what we're going to do, guys. We're going to try to patch up this village a little bit because, wow, it needs some patching up uh, desperately, guys. So, yeah, we, we obviously need a... No, we just need a shovel for this, right? Yeah, awesome. So we're going to kind of make the pathway and do what we can, but we got to wait for this to turn grass or I could just like, why is there water underneath this? That was weird. Those water pockets. It makes me think that there's some other stuff underneath this village that I'm not aware of yet. Anyways, guys, I figured it was only right to just finally start placing some grass and like kind of resurrect this village because that's what we've been trying to do. And why is there a random pocket of water? That is so weird. I don't know what that's about. I guess it's just a weird terrain. All right, villagers, I'm clearing things out for you, so you better respect this. All right. Now, that was good. I don't know why the village was like that. Then we have all this, all these imbalances. Look at this, man. The village is in desperate need, but guys, we're going to repair as much of it as we can over the course of time. As you guys know, we've been adding improvements to our house. And uh, I, 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 I don't know why there's no mobs out. It's storming. Usually there's mobs and stuff, but apparently... What are they doing in there? This is so weird. Okay, now they're... For some reason, guys, the villagers are back to normal now. There's still like three in my house. Um, but they're not over here at this house again. 
Guys, does this mean that there's something going on with this house that we don't know? Should we investigate this house or perhaps dig underneath this house? If so, let me know in the comment section below, guys. We may have to do that in another episode. But the experiment that I wanted to do... Okay, that's just a skeleton over there. Oh, my gosh, dude. All right, the experiment that I wanted to do today, guys, was... I wanted to take a nap. Like, I just wanted to take a nap. I'm going to set a timer on my phone, and I wanted to leave the world on, and I wanted to see what happens, what occurs, and see if anything weird or any oddities happen to take place. So, without further ado, guys, I think we're going to go ahead and go into this experiment, and we're going to see if anything weird occurs, if we spot anything. We're looking at our house here, and wait. You guys noticed that. One of our stairway, like our, what are the pieces of our roof is missing? Um, I don't know what that's all about, but either way, I'm going to go take a nap, guys. Maybe like a 10-minute nap or something. I don't know. I'm just going to take a short nap. I'm going to put a timer on my phone. I'm usually pretty quick at falling asleep, so this is not going to be, <laughs> it's not going to be any problem for me. So anyways, guys, I'll be back. We're going to leave this on. We're going to see if anything weird happens. And let's do this. Okay, guys, we're going to have to pause the video right there. Um, editing this back, I just happened to catch this. Um, a lot of my answers have been, uh, like, uh, a lot of my questions have been answered. Uh, so, let me kind of go over. You guys probably spotted it as well and some of the weird oddities that occurred. First and foremost, I actually moved locations, right? Well, uh, just so you guys know, this is recording after the video, so in while I was recording the video, I didn't know what happened at this current moment in time, so the rest of the video is going to be me just cluelessly not realizing what we actually captured here. I am terrified, to be honest, guys. This is probably, like, the, 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 the biggest movement we have captured from the Boogeyman. Like, this is a big deal, guys. We have not... This is really creepy, too, but anyways... First off, I moved locations, and I didn't quite understand why. Apparently, a spider was attacking me, and the spider attacked me, right? Well, that was fine, but apparently there's a skeleton as well, and the skeleton shot the spider, and then the spider killed the skeleton and ran off. Somehow meaning that I still remained okay, and I just happened to just... I like I, that, that was the strangest thing I've ever seen happen, guys. That was very weird alone, but let's get to the main thing. The main reason this is very odd. Guys, just so much weird stuff happened here, but another main reason why this is odd. Guys, if we slow it down at one point, we can see what appears to be Boogeyman running. Uh, guys, this is why... This is exactly why I'm telling you guys I don't want to be playing on this world But we got so much to do Like the music disc We still got to read the book guys You guys saw that That's all I'm saying It looked like he had something in his hand guys I don't know what it was If you know post it in the comment section below Either way I'm going to let the rest of this video pan out Imagine how creepy it is Knowing that I just played normally Acting like I did Like I had no clue this happened And I just continued playing Continue the clip guys Oh, man. Alright, alright, guys. So, I'm back, and, um... I'm pretty sure I originally wasn't right here. Okay, guys, so I, I couldn't fall asleep, so I ended up just coming back down... Uh, coming back down to my computer, and... Didn't I start right here? Or was I over here? Um, I don't know what this is so weird guys cuz I don't know what happened when I was gone I went upstairs to go to sleep. i tried to go to sleep. I couldn't fall asleep So I was like, you know what? This isn't gonna work after all I thought I could fall asleep But I'm too I'm too like anxious with this video and I feel like I'll wake back up and be super tired But like I came back downstairs and then I'm pretty sure I moved 
This is weird. This is very weird. Because, guys, it's still nighttime and I'm very scared. And all I hear is the villagers trumbling around with their feet. Oh, my God. Um, This is really scary. And here's why this is scary, guys. If it was a mob, it would have continued attacking me and probably killed me. Right? I don't know, guys. I'll have to look back on the footage. I mean, you guys obviously probably know what happened. Uh, and I'll know later on while editing this video. Perhaps I will, like, take some notes and, like, do something about it. But at the current moment, I'm a little weirded out because somehow my character moved. And I don't know how my character moved. But all I know, I was here. I come back. I'm here. So, yeah. Oh, guys, it's like a... What type of moon is that? Post it in the comment section below if you guys know what type of moon that is. What? Guys, okay. Allow me to just explain a little bit more how creepy... <gasps> no! One of the villagers... They turned it... Wait, this is a, a baby zombie villager trapped in the well. <gasps> Ow! It, it, it hit me! Man, you're lucky. Oh, how is it hitting me right now? Guys, this isn't good. We need to heal this. How do you heal? Okay, I know you need a... It's a baby. Like, we gotta heal this. Okay, guys. It, and it looks like it's about to drown, but I can't let it out because it's going to die. Guys, we need a golden apple. Okay. I know, I know what is required for this stuff, guys. We need, like, a golden apple and, uh... What else do you new usually need? You need a golden apple and some type of potion, like a potion of healing or something, like a splash potion of healing. All right, guys. I just gave a splash potion of weakness to it, and I gave it a golden apple. We're going to save this baby zombie villager. Yes, we're going to do it, guys. Um, all right, so the village, guys, I know we've been really focused on the village and just trying to get the village back up to good standards. But, like, honestly, this village needs it, guys. And we got so much more stuff that we got to return to. Like, okay, guys, just to put it in perspective, we are trying to investigate the villagers in a whole. But, guys, we really got so much stuff on the agenda that we have to do. And uh, I'm just trying to repair this village and make it actually worth something again. You know, the village has been run down for, like, the longest amount of time, right? So, like, I just really want to repair the village. But at the same time, guys, it seems like things just get creepier and creepier. And, guys, I still haven't touched that book we were supposed to read. Like, the weird haunted book or whatever that uh, said a cry for help. I mean, it's kind of urgent, and I think we should read it. But I've been postponing it, guys, just because I'm deeply concerned if, uh, like, I, if I want to even open that book because, guys, it gets really creepy and fast. Uh, so I don't know, guys. So we'll have to consider that, but we're going to go ahead and repair the village a little bit in this episode. So I guess in this episode, guys, we've just really, uh, I wanted to try the little sleep challenge. You guys told me to try to take a nap or go to sleep. So I was like, cool, we can try that. We can give it a little go. And, uh, in the midst of this, we can also repair the village because it is definitely in need of repair. So that's what we're going to do, guys. We're going to repair this village up finally. Um, and the villagers hopefully will become a little bit more sane and stop going crazy. But something tells me these villagers are still going to be going nuts. I, I don't know why, guys. I just think they're still going to be going nuts. And I'm deeply concerned myself. So, all right. Let's go ahead and patch this up. No, I don't want to trade Widget Butcher, but thank you. Trophy. All right. So, let's... God, dude. These villagers are nuts. Why do they always go in bundles? All right, guys, that's pretty good patched up, though. That that makes the village look a little bit better. So I patched it up a little bit, guys. You can't say I don't care about this village, okay? You can't say, oh, let's check the baby zombie. Oh, he's better. All right, get out. Come on, you're free. Oh, my God. There it is. Now don't go in. Go out. Boom. Look at that, a baby. We saved it. Yes, guys, victory is upon... Oh, my God. I thought one of those villagers looked all black. I was like, uh, please don't tell me the boogeyman is here. But, guys, pretty relaxed episode in the world. We did not spot Null. And, uh, well, yeah, we didn't spot Null. So, it was pretty relaxed. It was pretty easy. And with that aside, uh, ultimately, guys, we still 
have some things we got to do, guys. We got to read the book. If you're new here, guys, this story gets crazy. So I put the stuff in the chest here. We have disc 13, which we need to play inside the boogeyman's home. And we still have the cry for help by their villager that we, we haven't even opened yet or read. So this is going to furthermore like reveal to us more about what the villagers, why the villagers are going possessed, why they're going crazy, and perhaps give us a hidden secret on how to approach boogeyman and find out more about boogeyman in a hole. But either way, guys, thanks so much for watching i will see you all in the next video and uh i think this is the first time we didn't really have a weird encounter actually i mean we got a baby villager though so we did we did birth something great and it was worth it because of the new baby villager so anyways guys thanks so much and i will see you all in the next one should we go back and actually try to investigate this even more i don't know guys this is getting really creepy i don't know if i want to continue even though there's still so many un like things we have not answered like the, the book we haven't even read it there's still a lot to do. Anyways, guys, I will see you all later.